Well, Laurie, you've had a longstanding interest in how exercise and physical training uh, affect glucose transport in skeletal muscle uh, compared to how insulin works. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, your laboratory group has now elucidated some of the pathways, but perhaps not all of the pathways for uh, muscle contraction. Uh, could you uh, tell me how muscle contraction works differently from how insulin works to activate glucose transport in skeletal muscle? Sure. So. Uh, maybe I'll start by the similarities, which are both insulin and muscle contraction or exercise promote GLUT4 translocation to the cell surface. But what's really different is the initiating signal. So insulin works through its receptor and very well understood uh, pathway that involves PI3 kinase and AKT. Uh, exercise seems to work through multiple mechanisms. Uh, AMP activated protein kinase has been implicated. Uh, we now have evidence that AMPK-related kinases may be important, but calcium signaling and proteins activated by calcium are probably involved, as well as reactive oxygen species, mechanical stretch. There's probably a lot of different factors that feed into the movement of glucose transporters to the cell service with muscle contraction. Well, well, one of the interesting things that you've shown is that in people with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, they, who have insulin resistance, that insulin doesn't uh, stimulate glucose transport uh, as it would in a, a non-diabetic individual, but exercise actually does activate glucose transport uh, uh, the same as it does in a normal individual. Right. Right, and it appears that this is because the translocation process, the, tran uh, the glucose transporters move to the cell surface in a normal manner, uh, and it seems that the signaling molecules that are activated by contraction are also normally activated in people with type 2 diabetes. So, so this could have uh, major implications for treatment of people with type 2 diabetes, uh, that uh, exercise should lower uh, uh, blood glucose by uh, stimulating glucose uptake in, in muscle, uh, where they may not have the normal effects of insulin to lower glucose. Right, exactly, and it seems that the signaling molecules that are distinct from what how insulin works, they, they seem to be normally activated and they have become uh, targets for drug development because if we can mimic uh, the specific effects of exercise to uh, promote the translocation process in these and there are not defects there, then potentially uh, we could make agents that would um, activate some of these uh, specific signaling proteins. So, so better understanding of how exercise works to activate glucose transport in skeletal muscle uh, then could have uh, major uh, long-term impacts in, in new drug development. Right, absolutely. And there are a number of pharmaceutical uh, companies that are actually working on these questions right now. Mm -hmm.